In just a few hours, a convicted murderer, James Coddington, will be put to death. KOCO's Kylie Walker joins us live from the state capitol. And Kylie, we've talked to the family of Albert Hale, the man Coddington murdered more than two decades ago. Yeah, Jason Shelby, good morning. The family of Albert Hale says that this is a bittersweet moment for them. In one hand, they don't want to see someone lose their life. On the other hand, they are glad that they are getting justice for their father. Today at 10 a.m., James Coddington is set to be put to death in McAllister. And just to review this case, in 1997, James Coddington, an admitted drug addict at the time, killed his co-worker and friend, 74-year-old Albert Hale, with a hand after Albert refused to give him money to buy drugs. Now, yesterday, Governor Kevin Stitt denied Coddington's clemency request, and Coddington expressed remorse during his hearing at the Parole and Pardon Board. His attorney said that he is a changed man. Hale's son says he's forgiving Coddington, but he did not support clemency. I don't feel sorry for him. I do kind of pity him a little bit. Now, again, the execution is set for today at 10 a.m. We will be live at 9 a.m. here on KOCO 5 News at McAllister uh, with that execution coverage. So be sure to tune in at KOCO 5 at noon. But more coming up throughout our morning show uh, with more information about this. Reporting live, Kylie Walker, KOCO 5 News. All right, Kylie, thank you. And happening in just a few hours, the Oklahoma Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty set to hold a protest of that scheduled execution. The demonstration will begin at 9 a.m. in front of the governor's mansion. There will be a silent vigil at 10 a.m. when the execution is set to begin until a notice of stay of execution is received or that execution is carried out. Happening now, in light of the governor's decision to deny clemency for Coddington, a local church is also taking a stand against the execution. So they have placed 25 crosses on the lawn of Clark Memorial United Methodist Church here in Oklahoma City, representing the 25 death row inmates scheduled to be executed, including Coddington. As we mentioned earlier, KOCO will be in McAllister covering today's execution.